Do you know what the most aggressively marketed product in North America is today? Now, I'm going to measure the aggression based on the amount of sophistication, the amount of volume of the marketing, and the dollars spent on the marketing. So we can we can empirically decide what the most aggressively marketed product in our culture today is. You know what it is? Debt. Mostly under the heading of the credit card. Literally billions, that's a thousand million each time you say that, billions of piece, these pieces of plastic going into your mailbox every year. Even in the middle of a recession. Pre-approved to dead people, dogs, cats, and children. Did they intend to issue credit cards to dead people, dogs, cats, and children? No, they're just so aggressive and so over the top, and the law of large numbers dictates that occasionally that's going to happen, which always brings up great humor in people making fun of these people. Sears makes more money, if you read their annual report, on the issuing of credit than they do on the sale of merchandise, net profit. By the way, that's true of a lot of retail operations. They're not really a, a department store. They're a credit operation with some stuff out front. They know that. You know that by the way the credit card is peddled into your face. You can't check out a Target without being offered a credit card. With the roll of an eye, with the push, with the aggression, with the whole thing. Victoria's Secret, you can't get, a, you can't get hours if you work there without making sure you get credit card applications turned in. They'll cut your hours. You thought they were in the business of selling very small underwear for very big money. Turns out they're in the credit card business, and they have some underwear. The underwear Nazis are peddling credit cards. Now, ask the poor ladies that work there. You want to keep your hours. You want to. You get. You got to be. You understand the first week you work there what it is that you sell. This week, the Consumerist dot com came out with this. Laura Northrup files this report. The next time you're shopping at Best Buy, try not to get too angry when employees try to cram store credit cards down your throat. They're not personally out to scam you or hawking cards. Uh, to their line, to line their pockets, they're just trying to get not get written up, reprimanded, or even fired. A very insightful tipster who works at Best Buy somewhere in the U.S. shared with us the impossible credit application quotas now in place from the Best Buy employee. Our revenue and profits are way down, not only at the company level, but at my particular store as well. And although management is constantly coming up with new excuses as to why this is, I know the truth is that the trends are in favor of the smaller stores and the larger online presences. Thus, a new calling card within the company has been financing offers. It's simple. Each employee has a goal of one Best Buy credit card application per shift. Each one brings in roughly $50 to $100 of pure profit for the store, and we've been told ad nauseum for the past few months that financing is incredible because when the company wins, we win. Simply put, if we reach budget each quarter, each employee receives a small bonus. The problem is that this bonus is nearly unobtainable because corporate sets our standards so high. In fact, the majority of my fellow employees can't remember the last time we reached our budget goals. In spite of this, we're continually told greener pastures lie just over the fence of credit card applications. Here's the kicker, though. If we go three shifts without a credit card application, we will be written up by management. If we go 12 straight shifts with no applications, we are automatically terminated. No questions asked. Plus, we're now required to check in with the manager on duty, both at the beginning and end of our shifts, to discuss our daily sales and financing goals or risk being fired. Laura, the writer of the article, says this insider's story illustrates three things quite clearly. First, Best Buy is less of an electronic store and more of a credit card store that has some electronics in it for your convenience. Second, corporate management is so far out of touch with the experience of being a frontline employee that they set impossible goals. And third, contrary to popular belief, some Best Buy employees do have souls and brains. This particular one goes on to say he's leaving the store soon to get another job 
which is what he should do. If he feels that way about his company, you should leave. But there you've got it. I mean, you want to know why the, you get the crap pestered out of you when you go into Best Buy about credit card applications and extended warranties are the other thing they make all their money on. And I'm not mad at Best Buy, but, you know, this is what they do. I'm not mad at Victoria's Secret. As a matter of fact, we're customers of both. Um, probably not welcome in the store after me doing this, but, you know, it's okay. As a matter of fact, I spent a lot of money at Best Buy last year. Um, I think that's where we bought all those iPads. We bought iPads for every employee for Christmas last year. That was our Christmas gift to our employees. Bought them at Best Buy. So we're not mad at Best Buy. But, you know, we don't buy extended warranties. I don't recommend them. And you, I mean, you can't buy a box of gum in Best Buy without being pitched an extended warranty. And, of course, now you know why the credit cards are there. Three shifts without a credit card application, you're written up. Twelve shifts with no applications, you're automatically terminated. There's no quota on number of TVs sold, number of computers or cell phones sold, no quota on customer service. I didn't hear anything about being written up for that kind of thing. Of course, you assume that if they misbehave with the customer, you'd get, be getting, you'd be written up, but you wouldn't assume you'd get fired for not getting customers to sign up for credit cards when you work in an electronic store. Now, if you work for a credit card company, that would make sense. It actually makes sense here because that's where they make most of their money. Financing is good for Best Buy. You heard what he said. That's what the managers had told him. Well, it is good for them. They make money. The only trick is they lost sight of something. You, the customer. And when Victoria's Secret quits serving you, the customer, with the quality of their apparel, and Best Buy quits serving you, the customer, with their selection and good prices on electronics and service on those electronics and they get sidetracked trying to reach financial goals that are not good for the customer because I think we can all agree a credit card debt is a bad idea for underwear electronics or anything else then you've got companies that have lost their vision and you're beginning to see the beginning of the end This is why the credit card has become the most aggressively marketed product in our culture today. Because it makes them so much freaking money. Now, how many of you are going to continue to be so naive? Some of you act like children, sheep, being led to the slaughter. Bad. Madeline says, I heard you talking about credit cards uh, versus... Uh, your company versus credit cards. I can tell you from experience, Gap does the same thing. I quit that job soon after they put that in place. Uh, Zach says, when I worked at Target in 1999, they taught me how to pitch their credit cards before they taught me how to use the register. (laughs) Uh, Another guy says, my company was bought by an Indian firm that said exactly that. Get the Amex or start looking elsewhere. Cell phone as well. Uh, Colin says, I was chastised for not agreeing to push MBNA-issued cards to college kids. Sarah says, I worked at Macy's, had the highest sales, but they threatened to fire me because I refused to ask people to open accounts. Now, I will tell you this. If that's what your company says for you to do, then you have to decide if you're going to work there and do what they ask or not work there. But I would not recommend that you try to work somewhere and not do what the people that you work for are asking you to do. And so if they're asking you to do something that you don't believe is right or reasonable or shocks your conscience, then it's time to work somewhere else. But don't go over there and, and you know, you know, try to stage warfare internally or something. That's not what I'm suggesting. But, um, you know, so we got, you know, Victoria's Secret. We got Best Buy. We got Gap. We got Target. We got MBNA. Um, Macy's so far that basically told their employees one way or another, either get some credit card applications in here or we're going to give you problems or we make this a big priority, more so than we do running the register. (laughs) Yeah, Maybe we ought to have a class on making change at some of these places. Yeah, that'd be something to think about. Here comes a comeback. The kid is back, back on track in. Everybody loves a comeback, so come on back now. Come back, come back. Everybody loves 
More people commenting on Twitter about places they work that force them to pitch the credit card, the most aggressively marketed product today. Worked at a popular clothing store, wasn't punished for inability to sell uh, credit cards, but I did get unequal treatment. Uh, Jacob says, uh, Target doesn't punish those who don't sell the red card, but rewards those who do. I felt bad ripping people off, but I wanted the rewards. That says something about you. Uh, Kroger will fail a store on a mystery shop and hold back portions of bonuses if cashiers do not offer credit cards when prompted. I work for a pro audio store and we push cash. The owner loves it. <laughs> Good. I had a credit card company tells a year, tell me years ago I should get a loan to pay them off. Well, that's good. Uh, one of the many things that made me leave my bank's call center, Emily says. Um, my company forces us to use an Amex corporate card for travel, except it's in your name. That's a different subject. But the truth about that is you are 100% liable on that. Um, so you're going to end up paying that if your company didn't. I had a call on that earlier this week. Amex will come to you for the money. So I would not be using that for my travel. I would be using your own debit card and get reimbursement from the company. Um, worked as a customer account rep for GE Telecom, and they decided we should start selling our telecom customers credit cards. Wow. Uh, I got a friends that work at Cool Springs Belk Store, and they're required to open one store account, store, one store credit card per month, or face right up and termination. Sears, the pitch, the credit cards. Or pitch credit cards or don't get hours and don't be put on the schedule. When I worked at Old Navy, every employee was expected to pitch company credit cards. Prizes were awarded to the high performers. Wow. And it continues. Uh, I worked for Fry's Electronics. Ten credit card applications per week, not to mention selling extended warranties or termination. When I worked for American Eagle Outfitters, we had a quota to meet every shift on credit cards. They really pushed it. I worked at J.C. Penney's to produce uh, so many apps per week or be fired with a credit card. Didn't matter if I was number one in the sales department, number one in sales in the department. Whew, man, and it just keeps on going. My son was fired from Fry's Electronics because he couldn't maintain the minimum new credit cards per day quota. Sears threatens to fire people that have been with them for 20 plus years if they're starting to fail at getting credit cards. Uh, wow. There you go. I mean, there's a bunch of them. They just keep pouring in. Uh, that's some of them that were just in front of me right then on Twitter, just rolling up. They're just pouring in as I'm sitting here. Um, Target gave away, gives away free DVDs to employees who get the most card apps. I've seen people flat out lie to people to get them to apply to get a free DVD. Well, you know, that that's on you if you lie. It's not on Target. They're not asking you to lie. They're just you know, giving you bonus stuff to do it. And if you're willing to lie to get your bonus, then that's your, that that's you. But, you know, you get the point, don't you? It's the most aggressively marketed product in our culture today. It's the most aggressively marketed product in our culture today. And if you walk along naive with your head kicked back whistling, if you walk through the mall, then I just named them, American Eagle Outfitters, Victoria's Secret, Best Buy, J.C. Penney's, Belks, Macy's, Sears. Does this sound like your local mall? As you walk down the the the, the you know, just walk through the mall, you're going to leave with a pocket full of plastic, and then scratch your head and wonder why you ended up in credit card debt because it's the most Im aggressively marketed product in our culture today. Michelle says my 64 year old mother has worked at Sears for almost 15 years and is also subject to termination if she does not acquire a certain amount of credit card applications during the day. She was told they were even encouraged to lie about what the card actually is. It's a shopping card. And then her boss, quote, got in her face, unquote, about not selling enough credit cards. Well, get her out of there, Michelle. It's hard to quit. Number one, you don't work for somebody that gets in your face, period. Number two, you, you know, if they're telling you to lie, you get out of there. But this is the this is the condition that these retailers have gotten themselves into where they've lost their way. They forgot what business they were in. A lot of those companies I just mentioned, I actually like their products. But their behind-the-scenes corporate management, I won't call it leadership, it's not leadership, management misbehavior 
slash greed in the way they're driving their customers like cattle and their employees like cattle, it's completely out of control. It's out of control. This one says Edward Jones pushes cards through their financial advisors constantly. Many sign up clients without telling them so that the advisor advisor earns a bonus. Well, I hope not. I don't think Edward Jones would promote fraud. That's fraud. But uh, I don't doubt they push the cards, but surely they tell their clients. I mean, if you sign someone's name to an application, if you if you know, that's just fraud. You can't do that. Oh my goodness. But the the level of aggression, do you feel the aggression how aggressively marketed this product is? And and the deal is you've got to sit up and take notice because you the consumer If you get yourself in credit card debt, it's your fault. But you need to be aware that you are in the jungle and the animals are roaring. They would like to eat you. They they would like to feast on your wallet and your future. They really, really want to. And, And so don't be naive. Don't be walking along like Gomer Pyle on Valium through the mall. And then you wake up and go, Shazam, I'm on... I'm in debt. How'd that happen? I have no retirement. My kids can't go to college. Because these companies have gotten in the business of getting you into debt. See, you thought it was something as simple as Citibank or Bank of America offering you you a Visa card or Discover card, you know, pitching your college kid on the college campus. It's not that simple anymore. It's way deeper than that. The retailer has become the retailer of credit cards. That's it. They have become the retailers of credit cards. It's the most amazing thing. And and, and it's amazing to me that you, we just go along, all of us, and we just bump along and and think, well, you know, I just went into that store and I bought something and I was offered a card. And then I went into that store and I bought something and I was offered a card. I was offered 15% off my purchase if I get a car, sign up for a card. What? You don't have a card? You don't have a Macy's card. You don't have a Belk card. You don't have a J.C. Penny card. You don't have a Sears card. I you, look at you like you, you know, like you got one eye in the center of your head. What? You don't have a card? No, we don't use credit cards. Well, Dave Ramsey does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. You don't believe the number of times people that don't recognize me start telling lies about me to my face, and then I get the opportunity to correct them by showing them my driver's license. You know, what I mean, what you, what kind of moron are you? Dave Ramsey does. Well, no, Dave Ramsey doesn't. I have four pieces of plastic in my wallet. We've covered that before. There's only four. One debit card on my personal account, one on my business account, two debit cards. I have a driver's license and a handgun carry permit. That's it. That's all I carry. I don't have any other plastic in my pocket. The rest of it's green paper with president's faces. And green paper with president's faces and two debit cards will take me anywhere in the world that I want to go, except into debt. And I won't end up in debt with those. And yet you walk through the mall and go through American Eagle Outfitters. You go through Victoria's Secret, all these other stores and companies that have been mentioned here over and over and over again. Fry's Electronics, Best Buy, Gap, the Gap. The gap. There's a gap in your thinking if you're going to use their credit card. Seriously. Maybe a gap in your teeth, too. I don't know. But really. But we just just continue. And, And we just kind of wander along like nothing's going on here. Well, let me just tell you, Mr. Consumer, if you don't have a plan, the people that are marketing to you, they have a plan. And to the extent you are naive is the extent you're going to continue to be broke. So grow up. Grow up. Understand they're after you. This is not a game, people. This is your future. You call me up and wonder how to fund your kid's college fund. Well, Gap and Target took it. That's what happened. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. (laughs) 